welcome to my channel Aishwarya in a world Hey guys once again welcome back to my channel I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas with you so stay tuned to my channel Today I'm going to lay out about the alpha nomenclature followed by naka series and then advantages disadvantages and application of various series naka series and few solve mcq questions first in introduction what is mean by airfoil so airfoil is an cross section shape of a wing when it is moved through an fluid or an air it produces an aerodynamic forces it has been designed in such a way that it creates a curved streamline which helps to create a low pressure on the bottom and the high pressure at the top so here comes a few nomenclature leading edge trailing edge camber cord line camber line and thickness so first what is meant by leading edge you can see which is in the front of the air foil and having a maximum curvature but make a point but a minimum radius that particular point is called as a leading edge next comes trailing edge similarly where the point of max curvature is maximum or we have a maximum curvature at the rear of an air foil we call as a trailing edge or the rear part of a air foil what is cord line straight imaginary line connecting between the leading edge and the trailing edge and defined as a alphabet c small c this is actually for reference dimensions mean camber line this mean camber line or we can also call as mean line it is actually a locus of a point mid away between the upper curvature and the lower curvature it depends on the thickness distributed within the along the cords so what is mean by thickness thickness is this varies along the from the leading edge to the trailing edge the thickness measure perpendicular from the camber line it has been measured perpendicular from the camber line the air foil can be classified in two forms one is in symmetric another is a cambered air foil so symmetric air foil let's see here so both the upper curvature and the lower curvature will be same and when we see a uh, by increasing the angle of attack with the effect of cl we can see at zero angle of attack the cl will be also zero by increasing the angle of attack there will be some amount of lift but at certain point here it will lead an maximum lift at certain alpha we consider as 15 to 22 beyond that if we increase the angle of attack we it will leads to stall similarly in camber we can see at zero angle of attack there is some positive lift so in case of zero angle of attack here is a zero point at zero angle of attack we have some positive lift of an camber air foil here is a combination of camber and the symmetric air foil has been described now comes to naka series here we have few types four digit series five digit series one series six digit series seven series and eight series but as, but as per our syllabus we have only 4 5 1 and 6 let's focus into it now comes the four digit series so naka we have four digit can see here consider this a 1 2 3 4 here the first digit expresses that 
that is how much percentage of camber present if it here we have one that is one percentage of that is a one percentage of maximum camber present in a particular airfoil now consider second digit that means how far that is the location of maximum camber from the leading edge into 10 percentage suppose here the digit is 2 then it will be 20 percentage of the cord that particular location we have the maximum camber and always the last two digits explains the maximum thickness to cord ratio that is if we have here 1 and 2 here so we have a 12 percentage cord thickness to cord ratio now comes fifth digit series we have five digits the first one represents a cl the first digit represents a cl how you can find cl if here we have one so we uh, just assume here we have one so what we can write that is how much amount of cl it is one into 0.15 that is 0.15 of cl will create on this naka airfoil next comes location of maximum camber from the leading edge into three so suppose here you consider two okay so in the second digit two means this two into three you will get six that is six percentage that is six percentage of the core at that particular point it will have its maximum camber in the third digit express that either it can be a zero or one if zero explains the camber is simple and the one represents it is a reflex camber and the last two digit is always the same it denotes the maximum thickness to core ratio next comes in one series and six series there will be one thing called hyphen so using that you can identify or differentiate between the one series and six series so let's come to first series here this is the format so in the format the first one indicates what is the series so here we have one so it becomes under one series the second alphabet denotes or second number denotes the maximum pressure area distance on the 10 percentage of cord if we have two here that is 20 percentage of pressure distributed of distance in of the cord this is a hyphen then comes the x this third value represents the lift coefficient if we have 3 over here then we have to 3 into 0.1 we will get as 0.3 of lift coefficient and last two digit is always same that is percentage of maximum cord thickness to cord ratio here comes a six digit series see there is a far difference between six series and the first series here we have another small x here that's the only difference and also the hyphen it's a common thing so usually the first one denotes the indicate the series and the second one also the same indicates the maximum pressure area distance from the cord and the small one x denotes the drag how much amount of drag if here we have 2 it is 2 into 0.1 you will get as if 2 into 0.1 you will get as 2.2 drag lift so here the first one after hyphen we have a coefficient of lift so how if here here we have around 1 so what will be a lift coefficient 1 into 0.1 you will get 0 0.1 the last two digit again the same are the maximum thickness to core ratio here are a few advantages disadvantages and application for helicopter blade we use four digit and it's constant that 0012 we use for helicopter blade and for missile and rocket fins we also use four digit because what is a maximum benefit it is a maximum benefit is for good stalling effect but whereas in fifth and sixth whereas in fifth digit we use in business jet piston and general aviation 
and the 6 series for especially for supersonic jets because we need to form a high lift. Now it's time for solve MCQ. So first question for an symmetric airfoil the lift coefficient for zero angle of attack is so recall the diagram for symmetric airfoil so you can see at zero angle of attack the CL also zero so right answer is answer B find out the design lift coefficient for NACA 23016 airfoil so first recall this fifth digit series we have 523016 so we know that the first digit represents the lift coefficient that is 0 0.3 whatever the value you have you have to multiply with 0 0.15 location of maximum camber that is 3 into 3 that is you will get as 9 percentage of chord the 0 represents we have a simple camber and the last two digit represents the thickness to chord ratio that is 16 percentage so our right answer here in this question they have asked a lift so the right answer is answer b the geometric features of symmetric airfoil are rounded leading edge flat upper surface and high camber at the rear sharp leading edge flat upper surface and high camber at the rear rounded leading edge curved upper surface and no camber at the rear sharp leading edge curved upper surface and no camber at the rear so if you consider a symmetric airfoil so we know always it has a round edge leading edge and the second is for symmetric no camber is present so from here we can choose our right answer is answer c next find out the maximum camber for NACA 00164 digit series airfoil so from here we have to find the maximum camber so you know the formula the how to find the maximum camber that is a first series this percentage of camber that is we have zero so our right answer is a 0.0.00 of chord estimate the maximum thickness in percentage of chord for NACA 164 hyphen 214 airfoil see here in this question we have one at the first and the hyphen so it comes in this one series so we can see what they asked to what they asked to find the maximum thickness so we know the last two digit represents the maximum thickness to core ratio so our answer is 14 percentage our right answer comes as option d NACA 0015 implies symmetric positive cambered, negative cambered and cups type. So we know the first two digit if first two digits come zero that means the camber is absent that is it is an symmetric airfoil. So right answer is A. Maximum thickness of NACA 12045 airfoil so we ha again you have to find the maximum thickness so how you can find see this is a fifth series so last two digit that is we have 45 so right answer is 45 that is d then lift coefficient for naka 61-315 airfoil so this is an from the question we can see we, this is in 6 series NACA airfoil so let's focus on the 6 series 61x-315 what they asked to find they asked to find what is a lift coefficient so we know that this series belongs to the lift coefficient so corresponding to this value into 0.1 we will get the coefficient of lift that is 0.3 so our right answer is option c i hope this session was very useful for you guys if you have further inquiry drop down to my mail 29489224114 ash at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates and share this video with any fellows stay blessed take care